The Serbian Defense Dog. We're getting closer and closer every day to hitting our goal of 1,000 subscribers before my birthday. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. The Serbian Defense Dog wasn't meant to be a new breed, but rather a recreation of an extinct breed. The Serbian Mastiff was once a powerful livestock guardian that worked in Serbia's mountainous areas. According to the tales of old Highlanders from these areas, the Serbian Mastiff was somewhat similar to the modern Rottweiler but with longer legs and they possessed a stronger constitution. Supposedly, two of these dogs were enough to dispel five to six wolves. When Serbia was an empire, only the wealthy and noble class could own large dogs. This was because they had such pride in their big, powerful dogs. In the poem, Death of Jugovici's Mother, sorry if I said that wrong, there was a lion that stated, nine angry lions barked. There weren't any lions in Serbia, and lions don't bark. The poet chose to refer to these powerful mastiffs as lions instead of mere dogs. This is... There is even artwork depicting the Serbian Massive that can be found in medieval churches in Serbia. If they were held in such high regard, then why'd they go extinct? Their numbers decreased during World War II, with the Axis powers occupying Serbia. Another factor leading to their downfall would be the dwindling need for sheepdogs. Farming has changed a lot in the past century. Many people chose to rely on machines for their jobs that they would normally use a dog for in the past. The last of the Serbian Mastiffs, the dogs who were so beloved in medieval times, died sometime in the 1950s. An enthusiast who had heard tales of these ancient dogs sought to restore them. Nenad Gavrilovic, who was a herbalist and healer from Romania, began to be pro the process of creating the Serbian defense dog in 1981. Since the original dogs were gone, he had to recreate them using modern breeds that came from these, those dogs. This made them initially disregarded as a cocktail breed, but the founder has stated that anyone who would say that is blinded by their own lack of knowledge. When Serbia was under German occupation, many of the historical records were either altered or destroyed due to the Nazis' policy of cultural and historical suppression in the areas that they occupied. It's because of this that many people have forgotten their historical roots. Each breed used to make the Serbian defense dog has lived in or has ties to the Balkans at some point in history. The Celts lived in the Balkans, so the American Staffshire Terrier and the game Pitbull were used. The Romans would later claim the Balkans. Rottweilers and Neapolitan Massifs are direct descendants of these dogs. And like I said earlier, the original Serbian Mastiff was very similar to the Rottweiler in structure. The Thornyak is a traditional dog in Serbia, and wolves would sometimes couple with them. I was a little surprised when I first found out that they used wolves in the breeding process. It can be risky using wolves when creating a dog used for guarding and protection. Some people tend to have the misconception that wolves are these vicious super canines that spend their every day fighting other predators like bears in order to survive, but um, fighting isn't the only thing that keeps an animal that allows, helps an animal survive in the wild. If a problem can be avoided, why risk injury? Live to fight another day. Wolves will f try to avoid confrontation the best they can because they value self-preservation. And this isn't a good trait for a guard dog. A guard dog should be willing to get between its owner and whatever it's guarding, or whatever it's guarding, and uh, a potential threat without a second thought. I've seen several breeds who've introduced wolf DNA to the breeding stock when trying to produce production dogs, only to have it mess up with the uh, dog's guarding instincts. This doesn't seem to be an issue with the Serbian defense dog, however. The amount of wolf DNA they have is around 5%. So my next inquiry was why introduce wolves at all to the breeding stock? What traits did they contribute at 5%? The Serbian defense dog is surprisingly agile and was also gifted with sharpened reflexes and senses thanks to the wolf DNA in the gene pool. These dogs are also immensely powerful, possess fantastic guarding capabilities, and are incredible fighters. It wasn't the intention that these dogs be used for dog fighting, but unfortunately they became very popular in these circles. Apparently, they're so successful that they that some consider it unfair to match them against any dog from a different breed. Anyone who truly loves or admires the Serbian defense dog would never arrange them to fight dogs. 
They are capable of performing many other duties with ease and deserve to be more than a vicious animal that only serves as a sick en as sick entertainment or something to place bets on. They can be unsurpassable guardians when raised and bred for properly. An intruder would have no hope of bribing the dog with a stake in order to gain access to the home. They would still be met with opposition from the dog. The Serbian defense dog is a very healthy dog breed and can be resilient against many diseases. There aren't many reports regarding what possible genetic health concerns they may have. But based on what we know so far, some are prone to hip, hip dysplasia, ear infections, and some eye problems. The life expectancy I found could be wrong, because like I said, there aren't many reports about their health out there. The, ro the results I found said the Serbian defense dog has a life expectancy of around 18 to 20 years, but some going as high as 25 years. That sounds almost too good to be true. So if you know this breed well, tell me if that's accurate or not in the comments section. Males are 27 and a half to 29 and a half inches at the withers and weigh 121 to 154 pounds. Females are 23 to 27 inches at the withers and weigh 88 to 132 pounds. The Serbian defense dog can do well in an apartment setting. However, it's crucial to provide them with proper exercise, socialization, training, and a secure environment. Their suitability for an apartment living depends on uh, your commitment to meeting their needs. The Serbian defense dog can be great with children and the family. However, handlers should always monitor the dog when, they're, when there are guests visiting and even if it's, an, even if it's another child. The Serbian defense dog tends to be wary and reserved around other dogs. They may go into protection mode if they see another dog on their property or around its family. Proper socialization can ensure that your dog can interact safely with other dogs. They may also be same-sex same sex aggressive, same sex aggressive. Sorry, so it's best to um, it's best for any other dog in the home to be of the opposite gender. So would I bring a Serbian defense dog into my family? I would like to meet one before I can give a proper answer to that question. Reading descriptions of them online hasn't given me a proper gauge of what they're really like. Some say they're energetic and are a lot to handle. Others say they are calm and mellow. Seeing one in person and asking handlers the, the handler uh, questions would greatly improve my understanding. But I don't know if that will ever happen because I'm unsure if this breed has made it into the United States yet. I do really like the Serbian defense dog. My next video will be about the Cimarron Yurgoyen. Let me know if there are any dog related topics you'd like for me to discuss. I'll gladly fulfill your request. Again, please hit the subscribe button. We're making so much progress and every day is closer to 1000 su subscribers. Please tell me about your experience with the Serbian defense dog down in the comments. Have a great day, and if you plan on making a new breed, give it a really cool name like Serbian defense dog.